Hey, David Wells here. This is a quick tutorial showing you uh, how to alter the landing page layout. So some templates, they do not recognize the custom landing page sidebar. And what I mean by that, when you're using the default landing page template and you select the uh, use sidebar option here, sometimes that doesn't actually register. So I'll show you what that looks like. So if I update this post and go in and look, what we can see is the form is not showing up on this page, even though, uh, and you wanna double check this, uh, you wanna go into widgets and then scroll down to your landing page sidebar, even though we do have the uh, conversion area widget in there. So if this is the case on your uh, particular theme that you're using or what have you, there is a fix, um, and this is a quick fix that will actually get that uh, in there. So cool, so let's take a look. So I'm gonna go back into this landing page, edit it, and instead of using the sidebar, I'm just gonna go ahead and float this right. Uh, you can choose any of the uh, options for this to work. I'm gonna go ahead and update the post. So uh, what we can see here is like I have my content and then I have uh, the form that's actually rendering now on the page, but it's in the wrong place and I wanna move it over to the sidebar. So to do this, uh, we could set up a single custom post type, uh, custom page, which we would edit uh, and copy the single.php of this theme. That's in another tutorial video. But the quick fix is actually setting up some custom JavaScript. And to do that, uh, basically what you'll want to do is figure out what your sidebar is called. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm in Chrome here. You can use Firefox, Firebug as well to do this. But uh, basically what I can see here is my sidebar is called right-sidebar-wrapper. That's the class that's associated with it. So now that I know the class that I actually want to put the form into, um, you want to go ahead and take a look at the class on the form. And that's always going to be uh, what you can see. It actually has an ID. You could use the class as well, but the ID is LP underscore container. And that contains the entire form and everything in that area. So the quick uh, jQuery script that will let you move the LP underscore container into the sidebar div here that we uh, know the class is right dash sidebar dash wrapper um, is actually right here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this. So this is jQuery. Um, what it's what it's telling the page to do once the page loads is actually grab the form container. So everything inside of here where the form is and append that, so move it out of this area and put it into the sidebar. So if I go ahead and hit enter here, and this is using the console in the uh, Chrome uh, in developer tools, very useful indeed, just to show you guys this preview. So if I go ahead and click enter, you can see that the form is moved over to the sidebar where it belongs. So to implement this into the template, uh, we're gonna go ahead and edit this page again go into, and so we know that this uh, JavaScript works. If it's not working, you might need to select a different class and the period uh, in here means class and the pound symbol means ID. So as you can see, ID equals this, class equals um, that, and that's a different class there. But to apply this to the actual landing page, what we're gonna do is go into the edit screen here and under the custom JavaScript, what I'm gonna wanna do is we can copy the code out of here and drop in that code in the edit screen. The other thing that you're gonna wanna do, um, so this uh, will work uh, if it loads fast enough. What we really wanna do to make sure that it absolutely will work for every single person, depend uh, no matter what their connection speed is, is wrap it in a document ready statement. And what that means in jQuery, basically once the page is loaded completely, then run this. So uh, it will work for everyone. So that code looks like this, jQuery document ready, and you put all your jQuery goodness in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So that's all we need to do. So now if I go ahead and update this page, 
and then go and view this landing page, what we can see is there we go. So now every time the page loads, that uh, form is automatically moved over into the correct sidebar area. Now we're tracking the conversion rate. So that's a quick fix to uh, put the form where you need it to go if the sidebar um, is not working. And that's again, very theme specific. Uh, also what's theme specific is what your sidebar is gonna be called. Not every sidebar is gonna have the same exact class. So you're gonna need to inspect that and figure out exactly what the area is called to actually move that landing page container over to it.